This is a quick video response Q&A to a recent video that I released which was called Called Out of the Church System and I've got a comment from somebody that's not too happy about the video so let's get into it and see what the comment is and it's from Datchet11 and they say this i'm not sure it's male or female i've got a funny feeling it's a woman so i'm gonna read it in a woman's voice here we go there are some bible believing churches out there that are faithful to the gospel you can't tar everyone with the same brush it's important to stick to scripture as the holy spirit will not guide anyone contrary to the scriptures you can be led astray by the so-called self-revelation that's contrary to what scripture teaches <sighs> And thankfully, I don't get too many of these these days, but uh, I used to when I first started out. But um, this one's fairly new, this video. It may get some more. <sighs> Let's start off. Bible-believing churches. Is that mentioned in Scripture? I don't think it is, is it? Bible-believing churches. I haven't heard that expression before. But, you know, we are saved by believing in Jesus Christ Jesus Christ, real Jesus believing Christians I can understand but Bible believing churches you lost me there but yeah there are some ch churches out there that are faithful to the gospel, of course they are Yeah, the thing is that doesn't mean anything does it you can't tie everyone with the same brush, well I think what she's referring to or he's referring to is basically I said that if you are standing in a building that is institutional in nature um, and you're paying money to a pastor that stands there elevated in a pulpit then and you, you, you sing songs and pray and you're told what to do and when to turn up and all the rest of it that's what I was mentioning yeah and you're part of some sort of system that is not in scripture at all is it you show me somewhere in scripture which you never mentioned in your comment you show me anywhere that mentions that yeah if you go to the old testament there's plenty of stuff mentioned about how to build the temple and all the rest of it and that's probably what i can relate to and that's what the the, the old covenant is isn't it but that's what the old model for church was wasn't it or well, not church but temple isn't it and, and that's what's happened you look at the modern day churches and they're following the old covenant that's what they're doing the tithing the elevated person there the mediator you know you look at that the whole thing yeah i just don't think you watch this video you need to watch the video again and you'll see it's absolutely plastered crammed with uh, scripture you cannot believe how much scripture's in there and it all backs up what i'm saying if you're in denial of that then you're in denial of the bible basically that's what i'm saying it says it's important to stick to scripture what i've just said that there is scripture there and I have stuck to scripture at the end of the day it hasn't been twisted I haven't gone back to the Old Testament and I've rightly divided it and all the rest of it you know and that's what a lot of people do these days they go to the Old Testament to justify what they're saying I never used the Old Testament at all most of it came from Acts and, 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 and the Pauline epistles that sort of thing maybe the occasional dip into uh, the Gospels but that's it so it's important to stick to scriptures the holy spirit will not guide anyone contrary to the scriptures agreed that's the only thing i agree with what you say the holy spirit will not lead you to, or guide you to uh, guide anyone contrary to the scriptures but so what you're saying is i'm going contrary to the scriptures well i suggest you watch the video again that's all i can do and if, you, if it hasn't sunk in then watch it again and watch it 50 times and you will see i am not going contrary to the scripture the scripture is there it says it there in black and white, doesn't it? Go to Acts. You can see. God is not in temples made with hands by man or, or, or man's hands or whatever it is. It's there in black and white. If you're in denial of that, then, you know, there is no hope in this world. There really is no help, is there? That's why we've got the problems we've got. This is what the trouble of denominations is, isn't it? You belong to a denomination, and that's the trouble. When you belong to an institutional church, you belong to a denomination. If you belong to a dominant denomination, there's going to be variations on scripture and, and beliefs and all the rest of it. But we believe in one common theme, but even then that changes, doesn't it? Especially with the cults. And, you know, I'm not going to get into that. But at the end of the day, if you are sitting there and you're waving a finger in my face and I am quoting scripture that backs up what I'm saying, I can't understand what you're saying here at all. I really can't. Yeah. 
And it says here, you can be led astray by so-called self-revelation. Who's getting led astray? There's no self-revelation. If any revelation happened, it came from the Lord. That's where it came from. The revelation came from the Lord. It didn't come from me. Yeah, and it, everything I do on this website and everything I do on this channel is spirit-led. Spirit-led and that's it. Most of these ideas I would never come up with, with by myself in a million years. Never. Yeah, and if you're saying that, you're pointing fingers in my direction and again, you know, and again, there's no scripture backing up what you're saying, then, you know, I, I just don't understand where you're coming from, you know. So this self-revelation, was it a self-revelation? No, it certainly wasn't. Yeah. And that's contrary to what scripture teaches. Well, what does uh, scripture teach then? You're saying that's contrary to what scripture teaches. Well, what does uh, scripture teach then? There's, and this is it. You mentioned scripture three times in your statement, and you mentioned the gospel. These are all references to the Bible or the word, isn't it? There is no mention of any scripture at all. So that's contrary to what scripture teaches, yeah. So what is the, 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 what does scripture teach then? You, you tell me, yeah? You show me a Bible verse somewhere that says we're supposed to go to a building on a certain day of the week that is run by some sort of organization and you've got somebody that's in an elevated position, you know, standing in a pulpit and then we've got to stand there and, and, and take orders from this person, yeah? And they act as a mediator, just like in the old days when they used to go into the holiest of holies. This sort of carry on with the Eucharist and all this carry on that they do, you know, this is not... It's not in scripture, is it? It's not mentioned there. If you can show it to me that it's there, as you say here, that's contrary to what scripture teaches. What does scripture teach? If you can show me where it is, then I'll take the video down. How about that? I'll take the video down. But at the end of the day, this video, um, if you're going to come on this channel and leave a comment and do what I call the old correctionist thing, then I need to see scripture back up what you're saying. If you've got no scripture backing up what you're saying and you can't find anything, then it's pretty obvious that what scripture teaches is what I'm saying and not what you're saying, isn't it? Yeah? Scripture backs up what I'm saying. It doesn't back up what you're saying. All you're doing is just putting a load of words together. You've got Holy Spirit. You've got Gospel. You've got Scripture three times and, you know, and all the rest of it. And churches and Bible. And that's it. And it's just laced with, with your opinion, isn't it? And that's it. That's all it is. You know? If you're going to correct somebody, then basically you need to come up with scripture and show me what, what's wrong with the video, where I've gone wrong. And then that's it. I'll either re-upload it and change it, omit some words or it is, but there's nothing here at all. All it is is just a load, as it is per normal on YouTube, it's just a load of flapping lips backed up by nothing, isn't it? Just opinion, you know. And that's all I've got to say on the matter. So, um... My advice to you is go back, read the Bible, and then read it again, especially the New Testament, especially the Pauline epistles, and read Acts. You read Acts. You find anything there in Acts. There is mention of um, deacons, and there's mention of um, elders, isn't there? And there, sometimes there was buildings. They did it, but most of the time they met in each other's houses, and they just broke bread, and that's it. There's no standing up, sitting down, now we're going to sing this, now that, and somebody organising the whole thing. No, there was never one person in any authoritative position, never, acting like he is a mediator, like in the old covenants where they went into the holiest of holies, like Moses, that sort of thing, isn't it? Nothing like that at all. Yeah, at the end of the day, we are now the temple. Yeah, the, the temple resides inside us. That is the new covenant, isn't it? What you're doing is following the old covenants, yeah? And that's what you're doing. So don't, if you're following the old covenants, then don't preach to me. Come on this channel preaching to me without any scripture to back up what you're saying. And please do not come back with Old Testament statements about tithing and all the rest of it. I, I, I'm sick of hearing that stuff, you know? That's just garbage, isn't it? That's just rubbish. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, don't take it the wrong way. So as I said before, Read the New Testament again, especially Acts and the Pauline epistles, and then you'll find your answers in there. You will. And you will see that what I am saying is not contrary to what Scripture teaches. No way, no how. Anything I put out here is, is Spirit-led, and that's it. Anyway, this is Frank of the Twelve Gates, and I just want to leave you with a load of Bible quotes now. Bury this person with Bible quotes. And I hope you read these things. And I expect you to come back with an answer 
of where it says in scripture what I'm saying in, in that previous video called out of the church system where I've gone wrong yeah I'm sitting I'm waiting and the Lord is watching